Hey, what's going on? I'm Jason Park. I'm a feature filmmaker with Hyper 2 Productions. And today I wanted to talk to you guys and, and just keep it real with you guys about the struggle of being a filmmaker, the struggle of being an indie filmmaker. It's tough. I mean, it's really, really tough. To give you guys some background, um, I went to Hollywood or LA in 2006, straight out of high school. And, you know, got an agent, did the rounds. This is when we used to always do live castings, in-person castings, um, booked national commercials, did jobs for Apple, Samsung, McDonald's, Subway, you know, you name it, I, I did it in that commercial space. Did a couple of feature films and, and just did the rounds. And I never really made it to where I thought I could have made it to. In hindsight, I just, you know, I just didn't take it. I would, I don't want to say I didn't take it serious enough, but I don't think I was as focused as I needed to be at that time to get, to make it higher, right? Or to go further. Um, fast forward till about 2018, when I decided to make my first feature film, Rex Park, Curse of the Golden Buddha. Then from there, we made Four Amigos, which is now on YouTube as Furious Fast Atlanta. And then I re-edited it, recut it, recolorated it to a more modern version to Fast Atlanta, which is on this channel. And then our third feature film, Pizza Boy Rick, that uh, should be releasing anytime now. And then Always Smile, which we submitted to all the festivals, all the big ones, right? The Tribeca's, the Sundance, the Atlanta Film Festival, everyone that's kind of uh, a, a qualifying. And they, I won't get noticed to that until early 2025, so that won't even be out until 2025. Um, and these movies are done. They've been done for a while. Before this video you know, is even made, Pizza Boy Rick has been done for over a year and a half. Always Smile has been done for like, I wanna say eight months, nine months, right? And they're still not out. So I only say all that to say this. Indie filmmaking is tough. And I'm sure filmmaking on big budgets is tough too because if you're on a bigger budget and you fail, then you might go to filmmaker jail where you just they just don't hire you anymore. Um, but from an indie indie filmmaker standpoint, the reason why it's so tough is because you have to constantly prove yourself. You have to constantly, you know, get the the actors together, and you got to constantly get the locations, and you're gonna wear every single hat there is possible when it comes to making films. It's a blessing and a curse. It's a double-edged sword. It's a blessing because you get to understand every facet of filmmaking from pre-production, production to post-production. Um, it's a double-edged sword because you're unable to give up that control because you just can't afford to, right? So it, it becomes cumbersome. But another thing that also happens is we all get really excited for our projects and you just... You just never know what's gonna happen. You expect big things to happen with every single project you do because every single project has a piece of your soul in it. Every project has a piece of you in it. And with pe when people don't like it, which a lot of people are not gonna like your projects, does it hurt? Yeah, it hurts because it's, it's a part of you on that screen, right? Um, I've learned to where just like nothing really bothers me. I don't, I don't really care if someone, you know, dislikes the project or not. I, I really only focus on the people that enjoy the projects. It's like, okay, well then you're the audience and I made it for you. If someone doesn't like it, then it, they just weren't the audience. And I'm not going to, you know, cater to or listen to the few that don't like it. I'm going to listen to the few that do like it and give them my time and attention and understand why they like it. So when I make another project, I can, I can build upon that, right? And build for that audience. But you always have this idea that your film is gonna make it big. We all have this idea that, you know, every film we're gonna get into Sundance or Tribeca and then we're gonna be like, you know, these other prolific filmmakers, the Rodriguez, the Tarantinos. And I don't think in today's world that exists, not to say that, you know, every film doesn't give you a lottery ticket because I feel like it does. I feel like every single project gives you the chance to play the lottery ticket and you have to you have to play it. That's the reason why to this day I still submit my films to festivals because you just never know. 
You never know if you get into Tribeca. You never know if you get into Sundance. And you never know how that can change the trajectory of your career and take you to the next level. As an as a indie filmmaker, as a filmmaker, you're going to have to crawl every single project. You're going to have to crawl every single project. And a lot of times, things just aren't going to turn out the way that you would like them to. There's, there's no fast track. Now, mind you, I say all that, and for some people, there is a fast track. They do that one short film, that one feature film, that you and I may be like, ah, that's okay, I guess, right? It's not technically right or whatever, and they get fast tracked for whatever reason. That was in their cards. Now, that can happen, but for the majority, this is for the 99% that no one ever talks about, it doesn't happen. And, and you have to be... I think a little crazy and I think I am a little crazy to just keep going and keep making projects when you know you're not getting those calls you're not getting those meetings you're not winning those awards you're not getting into festivals you're not you know doing any of those things you're not having crazy numbers you're not making profits you're losing money like at some point if it was a business which this is a business you would pull the plug and you'd be like all right this is draining me I got to do something else but I think you have to be crazy to, to go into such a field like, like this that's so competitive with only such a limited amount of slots and you are competing against every big Hollywood wig out there. Because when they watch your movie and they watch my movie, they're not comparing it to other independent films that were made for you know $1,000 or $10,000. They're comparing it to every single blockbuster and every single Hollywood film for $20 million and above that they've ever seen. Right. We don't get that leniency. So it's it's one of those things where I think you have to be crazy to to pursue this field. And a part of me, I was talking to a friend of mine, a part of me was like, man, it, I wonder what would have happened if I would have just never got the acting bug. I never got the filmmaking bug. I wonder how my life would be now. Mind you, I would have never never met my wife and my son. But let's say you know, I could have met my wife and my son. I'm like, man, would I have still done it? I don't think I would have. I think I would have done things very differently. But it's like every time I try to leave this space and quit, I've tried to quit this so many times. It's like something about it just keeps calling me back to like, man, do one more film. Oh, that sounds really dope. Do one more film. And then I'm right back at it doing another film. And I know there's a lot of filmmakers out there that feel the same way I feel. I know there's a lot of filmmakers out there that did one project or they're about to do one project. They didn't get the results they wanted and they were like, man, F it, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Like, like, I spent a year making this project. I spent two years making this project and a hundred people saw it. Like, like, that shit hurts. That shit hurts, right? Where like somebody can go make a TikTok for, it takes them two minutes from push and record to uploading, and they'll go and get 100,000 views. And if it's a female shaking her butt, she'll get 200,000 views. And you can go do something super creative and make this whole project, and 100 people will watch it. It's, you have to have thick skin. And I'm giving you all this information because you have to be prepared mentally, right? If you end up being successful, congratulations. I am so happy for you. If you end up making it to that next level, congratulations. I am happy to send it to my Instagram or something uh, or my Facebook group, United Filmmakers Group or something, and I will post it and I will share it and I'd be an advocate for every filmmaker out there because it's I know what it takes to make a project. And it doesn't matter if the project is, is a 10 out of 10 or it's a 2 out of 10. The fact that you put the effort in and you completed that project and you made that project says volumes about you. And it says that, you know what, I'm just not ready to give up on that dream. Or even if I am ready to give up on that dream, I still gave myself that chance to go after what I wanted to go after and do what I set out to do. And that's powerful. That's very powerful for when your life, you know, gets closer to its end. Another thing with, with being a filmmaker is there's no glory. You don't get the glory. You don't get the praise. You may get the praise from maybe like a couple of your actor friends or something like that. Like, man, you do a do dope work. That's dope. But there's no articles written about you or things like that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna make money from this space. You're gonna lose money. I mean, it's, it takes a lot. And I say all that, and to say this is like, man, is it worth it? And I think it is. I, I, I don't know what it is, but man, it feeds my soul. It really does. Acting and, and making movies and just creating that space like that film is alive in some space and entity. It's alive. 
Like it's when I die, my grandson can go watch it and be like, yo, that's my grandfather. That's dope. Right. And he can see me young. But no, there's just I think the world would be dull without art. I think the world would be gray without art, without photographers, filmmakers, musicians. I think we're absolutely needed. Do we get the the recognition most of us know? Do we get the finances? No. But the reward is that your soul gets to eat. I just summed it up. I just summed it up in this video for myself. Wow, that, that was an epiphany. Your soul gets to eat. Your soul gets to eat. That's why we make movies. That's why we make music. That's why we write books or script. That's why we make stories, is because our soul gets to eat. Wow. I mean, think about this, right? How many people get the opportunity to allow their soul to eat. When you think of, hey, we need to pay our bills, we gotta work, you know, we gotta take care of the kids, I gotta take care of my sick grandmother. Like, how many people get the opportunity to get, let their soul eat just a handful of times in life? That's why we make movies. I'm Jason Park with Hyper 2 Productions, and I'll talk to you soon.